Now this is a problem of uh, inverse normal um, question. So let's read the question. Research has shown that the weight weights of newborn lambs in Southland are normally distributed. So there's a normal distribution of the newborn lambs that are born with a mean of 1.5 kg and a standard deviation of 0.125 kg. Use this model to answer the question below. What's the range of the central 70% of the weight of the newborn baby? So it's a good idea to always draw a normal curve. So a sketch of the normal curve would look somewhat like this. Okay, so once you draw the curve, you understand what the question is. We know the mean, the mean of mu is 1.5 kg and the standard deviation is, so it's a good habit to write both these parameters so that when you're using a calculator, you need these numbers. The standard deviation is, sigma stands for, standard deviation, this stands for mu. So the question is, what is the range of the central 70% of the weight? So what they're asking is, the central 70%, so I hope you know this is 50%, so this area is 50%. To the right of mean, you have 50%. To the left of mean, you have 50%. The question is, what the middle 50%, sorry, middle 70%, so middle 70% would be so there is one value that we want to find, which is this value. So this is x1, and so this is x2. So the middle, this is x2, let's call this x2. The middle 70% is this. So this area, you can say this is 0 0.35. This is the probability, or this is 0 0.35. And the total area is... 0 0.70 and to the right this area is how much so this is 50 percent or 0.5 so this is 0.15 you don't need all this so you can say that the probability that a lamp is born less than x1 weight is 0.15 and this would be 0 0.15 okay so here we are focusing on this this is what we are talking about so the question is, what is the range? What is the range? That is, what is x1 and what is x2? And that is of the middle or central 70% or middle 70%. Now, how do you do this on a calculator? If you have a graphic calculator, so let me delete it. Let me get it back. So you have to just enter. First, go to stats. Go to distribution, go to normal. And this is called inverse normal. So press inverse normal. And you've got left, right, and center. So we are focusing on the central area. So click on F3, which is central. So now the calculator is asking you, what's the area of that central? So well, that is 0 0.7. 0 or 7. That's fine. Standard deviation is, this is standard deviation, which is 0. 1, 2, 5. And the mu, which is the mean, it is mean is 1.5, just like that. And the calculator will compute. This is your x low and this is x up. So you can say it is between 1.37 kg and 1.63 kg. Okay, so let's remember. So this is just so this is your lower limit, so this is your x1 and this is your x2. So I'll round it to 2 dp, so this is 1.37 1, 1 and 1 1.63. So you can see the range or the interval. The range is between 1.37 kg to 1.63 kg. It does make sense. If you look at mean, mean is mean is 1.5. So this value is 1.37 and x2 is 1.63. So what does this mean? You can say that, that the middle 70% of the newly born lamb would be way between 1.37 kg and 1.63 kg. 
So you can talk about many things. There's 15% probability that a lamp would weigh over 1.63. There is 15% probability that the lamp would weigh less than 